What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Travis of Travis Eats the World, and I am back again today with another video. And today I'm going on another rant. So today's rant is about fast food and restaurants running out of stuff. Now I've worked in the fast food business and I currently work in the uh, food service business right now. And running out of stuff is, is going to happen. But how do you prevent that? Why does it happen? And what should, what should you do if it happens? So this whole video came about because I went to McDonald's today for breakfast. If you know me, I'm not a big breakfast person. Side note, don't forget to share this video on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hashtag ETW. So you can enter it in the drawing to win a free $100 gift card. All you got to do is put hashtag ETW and share one of my videos. And I will be doing the drawing November 1st. All right. Back to what I was saying. So running out of stuff is, is normal in the fast food industry and uh, restaurant business. But I went to McDonald's today to get some breakfast. And I'm like, ah, what do I want? I think I will go with their pancakes. So I was like, mm, I, I don't just want pancakes. I don't just want sausage. So I, went, I opted for the breakfast deluxe. That comes with pancakes, sausage, eggs. And it also comes with, um, I believe, a half of um, an English muffin. So I, I got forward looking. I'm standing in the line. Keep my six feet because you know what's going on with this thing in the world right now. Can't mix it or they're gonna take down this video. Side note, but so I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and I go to order. And the lady doesn't say anything about it, but it's breakfast time. So I go to order my breakfast and say, Oh, we don't have that. Should have seen that look and disdain on my face when I seen that. I'm like, how? That's like the staple for McDonald's breakfast. McDonald's would not have a successful breakfast if they didn't have the breakfast deluxe. That's, I've been getting that since I was a kid. And everybody knows, if you know me, I love McDonald's. I'm trying to get married at McDonald's. I'm trying to have Ronald McDonald himself marry me off. But that's a side note for something totally different. But they were out of, excuse me guys, they were out of the, the breakfast deluxe. I mean, they didn't have no pancakes. No, They had to have sausage. I know they had to have egg. Oh, so that means they didn't have the pancakes. And I would totally have been fine. Like, oh, we don't have pancakes, but we can give you the uh, McGriddle bread. I would have took the McGriddle bread because I had some of that before. And I ain't that by itself or put ram stuff in between it. And it's so good. But they didn't even offer that. So I had to opt out and get something different. What'd I get? Um, oh, shoot, I dropped my sandwich. Uh, ended up getting a sausage, uh, what do you call it? A chicken grit McGriddle. Haven't had one of those yet, but I'm going to tell you how it is. See, these are good. Don't know why. It's like, hey, we need two McGrill cakes, give you a sausage, some eggs. Been just fine. But oh no. They're like, oh no, we don't have it. So I'm already kind of not mad. But kind of, you know, not really feeling McDonald's right now. And I'm not trying to turn around because I got to be hurt, be at work. So I, I, ordered, I ordered my food or this and a couple other things. And then it comes down for me to order my drink. And I said, okay, I get oranges. We don't have orange juice. I'm like, what? You don't have orange juice? You could have told me that. Like, me personally, I'm not, I'm not a big soda fan. If I do get soda, I'll probably get a Sprite. But... And then, like, even with the McDonald's Sprite, like, it's weird. They have one of the best Sprites. It's Tropical Sprite Remix or Mix, whatever it's called. It's so good, but they don't check on it often enough. Jesus, can I get a Tropical Sprite? You get it. You get home, and it tastes like nothing but carbonation club soda. That's terrible. Like, how does that happen? No one else orders this, so you just don't even care? You're supposed to check that at night, in the morning when you come in. But that's neither here nor there. So I was hurt that they didn't have no orange juice. I came there specifically for the pancakes and orange. And I really don't like pancakes like that. So when I have a hankering for pancakes, I need that hankering to be satisfied. I could have I could have went to Walmart, got some pancake mix, and made pancakes at work because we have a we have a flat top. But I don't feel like I hate making pancakes. I hate making pancakes and sandwiches. Don't ever, I'll, I will make you a, a six course meal before I make you some pancakes and sandwiches. I hate that. I don't know why. I just do. I love making steaks seafood but that's besides the point but and then sometimes when restaurants run out of stuff 
is warranted. Like when I was at Popeye's, social media messed it up for us or made it great for us because when that Popeye sandwich came, it was here. I remember it was it was came on a Monday. Nobody really ordered. Tuesday, I seen on social media, seen I seen a little banter going back and forth. But when I came to work on Wednesday, it was hectic. We had to shut down. Like I've been, I was there for like almost six years, and we've never shut down because of something like that. We shut down for other reasons. Like one time, the, someone hit a transformer and the power went out, and we were just chilling, like it's cold till. They're like, "Oh, we gotta start, gotta start cleaning." I'm like, "Oh man, we we can't see." But that's that's side point once again. But we were running out of chicken sandwiches. That like that that right there is not is not our fault. That's excusable because we didn't know it was gonna be like that. Social media did all all the promotion for us. Social media did so much promotion, we didn't even get to drop the commercial. I seen the commercial because uh, I got connections with other people, and there's people who are higher up than me that never seen that uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich commercial. And not them BS commercials that you see where like, we see the black go, mm! or, or, or the people go, mm, 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 like, that, it had a whole different plan and marketing they were gonna roll it out. But, there's nothing here to do. And one time I went to KFC, and they were out of chicken. I I never understood that until I worked in the fast food industry how people run out of stuff because you never know you never really know how it's going to be because some days excuse me some days it's going to be high and some days it's going to be low and you try to plan somewhere in the middle because you want to have as much as least waste as possible because because I don't hate wasting food and then you lose money on wasting food. But you got to plan for all that stuff to come up. And then, uh, where's I at? They, they ran out of something. I hate when places run out. Oh, I was at IHOP with my sister, my kids, and my, uh, my, uh, my dad. I, like, like, two weeks ago. In fact, yeah, two weeks ago. At IHOP. And they had some, I forgot what, they had like, um, was it Cinnabon uh, pancakes? And something else like those let chase pancakes, some other kind of pancakes. And I don't even like pancakes like that. And I see now, like, okay, I'm about to order this. Or oh, my sister, there's one of us. We're about to order. I'm like, okay, cool, it's about to be fire. And this is the worst part about it. They gave us the menu with it on it. And then like, I think I think it was my sister that ordered it. And when she went to order, like, oh, we don't have that. Why would you give us that on the menu? Or would you give them like, oh, like, sorry, just a heads up. We don't have this right now. If you tell me beforehand you don't have something, I'm going to be perfectly fine. Because at least I know what I'm getting myself into. I don't get myself hyped up for something that I don't know what I'm going into. Man, I hate when places run out of stuff. Or McDonald's again. I'm sorry, McDonald's. I love you to death. Y'all need to sponsor, start sponsoring my videos, but I went to get my daughter the Travis Scott mail a week after I reviewed it. If you haven't seen that review, go watch that review. That's a good review. But she's like, because she loves Travis Scott. I'm like, okay, I'll go get you it. They were out. Like, how are you out of that? All the Travis Scott mail was a quarter pounder with cheese with shredded lettuce on it. Then a medium coat, medium sprite, excuse me, with fries and barbecue sauce. How do you run out of that? Like, like for, for something like that, you had to plan for it. You planned for it, but didn't plan too well because you had the shirts made up. We didn't have Popeyes, we didn't even have shirts yet. But you guys had shirts made up because you knew how and you knew people were gonna sell their shirts because Travis Scott is like I don't know what it is when like I like Travis I like his music I like his older music too but when he sells something it's going to sell like he they put Travis Scott on the front of Reese's Puff I was on eBay today and a box of cereal was going for $189 if you don't believe me go to StockX go to uh eBay go to Amazon and look up a box of uh Travis Scott Reese's Puff cereal and see how much it's going for come back to this video say if I'm right matter of fact tell me in the comments if I'm right or you see something crazy then they had a Travis Scott body pillow shaped like a chicken nugget for $600. I almost bought it. I, um, I was like, well, I couldn't do it. I almost pulled the trigger on it, but I did not. 
And um, he had a couple shirts I wanted, but they didn't have it in my daughter's house. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to get this shirt because I know she would love this shirt. She likes weird stuff like this. She's like me, but I don't know. Like, some of y'all fast food restaurants, restaurants got to do better. Like, Denny's, y'all got to do better. IHOP, you got to do better. Long John Silver's, you got to do better. Burger King, you got to do better. Who else? Uh, Arby's, you guys got to do better. Recycling commercials? How do you recycle a commercial? And, and what makes it bad about them recycling the commercial is that one of the sandwiches in the commercial, they didn't have, so they had to dub over and say, oh, we don't have this commercial. You know how Ben ranks up, like, we have the meats. But don't do that. Just make a whole new commercial. And if you need commercial, I will shoot you a commercial for free. I have a professional set to shoot you guys a commercial for free. All you got to do is let me watermark it with my name on it. Boom, we both out of here. Arby, shoot better commercials. Please. Please. And step and step your uh kids meal up too. Some of you guys like Burger King, step it up. Jack in the box, step up your kids meal. Like Carl's Jr. Oh god, your kids meal is terrible. McDonald's yours is hit and miss. Man, I'm tired. I'm tired of talking. I'm out of here, guys. Remember, eat, pray, love, like, comment, share. Don't forget to enter the contest. Like a lot of people not entering. I'm about to I'm November 1st. I'm drawing to see who's going to be the winner. So make sure you do it so I can get you out of here. Like, I'm this is a free $100. You ain't got to do nothing but share. You're already on your phone anyway. You might as well do it. But I love you anyways. Remember, eat, pray, love, and stay thirsty, my friends. I'm out.